20 kilometers outside of Madrid, a 90-year-old man is racing to finish his life's work, a grand cathedral. He is either a prophet or a madman. Martinez was born a farmer. At the young age of 10, he saw the Spanish Civil War tear his country apart, and he saw communist forces shooting priests and destroying churches. That, along with his very religious mother, sent him towards the Catholic Church and being a monk. But when he got sick eight years into his service, he was asked not to come back. He didn't fit in. He was too pious, too driven. So what does a man with unshakable faith do when he no longer has a place in the church? He builds his own cathedral. Some people call Don Justo a madman. He has built this cathedral himself by hand. He spent the first 20 years working entirely alone. It's a massive building. The interior that I'm in right now is half the size of a football field. And that dome, that soars 40 meters above the town of Mejor de Del Campo. And Don Justo is not even done building. His full vision for the cathedral includes two spires, making the whole thing 80 meters tall. It would be a grand cathedral to rival even the old masterpieces throughout Spain. The construction methods are simple. It's stained glass windows are made from ground glass set into glue. The pillars are cast from empty oil drums. The dome up top is built from dozens of cut up plastic food tubs. And while the methods may be humble, after 55 years of working, what Don Justo has built is magnificent. And it was all done without the support of the government, without permits, without plans, and without the support of the church. When does sheer force of will take something from misguided to magnificent? When does delusion become divine inspiration? As Don Justo has said, I wanted to build a place for God on farmland. There were no plans, everything was in my head, and I have done it all myself. And so he has. But cathedrals take a long time to build. This will take more than a lifetime, and, and no one has stepped up to take it over when Don Justo passes. At 90, Don Justo expects he will die soon and meet the maker to whom he's dedicated his life and this magnificent building. And asked if he would do anything different, he said, if I could do it all over again, I'd build it twice as big. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. If you enjoyed this, you have to watch The Madman and the Cathedral. It is a 20 minute documentary about Don Justo, about the cathedral, and it is fantastic. It's really, really good. I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, and finally, uh, it should be noted that one issue with building higher is that a number of storks have happily made their home on the rooftop. Uh, where the spires should be is a giant stork's nest. They're very happy up there.